live at the University of Arizona with more on the anticipation for tonight's game. Hey, Zach. Well, good evening, Paul. Well, news of Sean Miller's return to the court tonight as some Wildcat fans thrilled and relieved while others remain skeptical. I have been completely open and transparent, and I look forward to coaching this outstanding team as we seek to capture a Pac-12 regular season championship this week. Sean Miller back on the sidelines. The Arizona Board of Regents made it official. Many Wildcat fans excited. You know, I think uh, this place is going to be pretty uh, crazy tonight. He's a part of the team as well as part of the university, and I think we all need him. And we need the support of the, the school as well as the athletic program to kind of bring it all back together. Thursday's press conference served as a pedestal for Miller to proclaim his innocence. Miller called reports alleging he discussed paying a top recruit $100,000 to join the team. Inaccurate, false, and defamatory. He actually coming clean and saying that he did have a conversation about playing a player that is not at this university. I think all those things could be used against him in a court of law and for him to come forward and really go against the ESPN report, I thought that was uh, pretty telling. But others still have their doubts. Look, look at sports today. You know, sports don't evolve at like, anything without having an upper hand. And how do you get an upper hand is trying to get out there and get the best you can. You know, it's not that he's doesn't know anything. Everybody has to know something within your program. Nobody's going to be ignorant just standing there behind this closed door. And you can bet whether it's here along University or inside McHale, tonight's game going to be electric with Sean Miller back at the helm. For live at Maingate Square, Zach Briggs, News for Tucson. Hey, thanks a lot.